Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal giving you another runway fashion collection review. And as you can tell from the title, I am reviewing the Balmain, Balmain, wherever you're from. Doesn't matter as long as we are talking about the same subject. Balmain Fall and Winter 2018 collection. And this collection is quite extravagant, gaudy, eccentric, fashionable, if, you, if that's how you want to call it. Very bright, yet at the same time, it's actually not bad, not bad. And so, let's go ahead and start with the review. And so, slide one, we got four uh, styles right here. We got a uh, patent leather on the pants on picture number one, and we got some jacket. I'm not sure if that's fur or sequins. And then the second picture is a female model rocking this very um, bright dress, dark gray or charcoal, or even gunmetal with matching shoes right there and then here's something that that i do like is the shirt underneath that jacket it's actually quite nice it actually gives the the jacket a bit more drape and i also like that dinner jacket or cocktail jacket and then here we have something that a rock star would certainly wear is the jacket right there a striped jacket with the pockets on the side striped shirt underneath and some skinny slacks right there this this um, slide is actually not bad. It reminds me, it certainly can be ready to wear. And then here we have slide two. I love the jacket on the first picture. It's very fitted. It looks like there are horns on the shoulders with a patent uh, pants. That's not bad. Again, here we have the dinner jacket. That's actually not bad. Again, with the patent leather pants. And then this one, I like the shirt underneath very asymmetrical style very loose fitting then here we have a on the night or going out type uh, guard, uh, ensemble on the fourth picture it's not bad so here we are on slide three so this Balmain so far as you can tell there's a common team it's almost like going on the night or maybe going to a holiday or event shows or even red carpet style and Slide 3 is no different. Uh, first picture is alright, but the second and third picture are really nice. They match uh, each other in terms of colors. We got the female with the see-through top. Very loose fitting, very draped. And then on the third picture, the guy looks like it's uh, wearing a polo. I can't even tell. And then here we have something. Uh, combination of sneakers, patent leather pants with the jacket. It's very very mixed I'm not sure if it blends well I mean it's very subjective but I guess it's all right and then on slide 4 very very street type slide right here we got the contrasting trench coat jacket it's not bad even matches with the shoe and then here we have that I, I, I would actually consider wearing this very colorful jacket especially the shirt underneath and here you have just all black skinny pants and then same thing with the female model very abstract colorful print i guess you can say and then on the fourth picture the same thing it's not as colorful it's more monotone but it's quite a colorful slide and then continuing on with the contrast here we have a jacket right here very two-tone colors looks like the navy in the white and then you got the pan leather uh, pants same thing with slide i mean picture two and then here we have ninja style right here we got something you would see in the streets it's uh, picture number three and then even picture number four but you know what picture number four is actually not, not bad it's formal yet very edgy very futuristic look Moving on to slide six, this slide is certainly full of a uh, shine, very, very bright at the same time. All patent leather on picture number one. That's not bad, but I don't see her wearing that picture. Uh, picture number two, that's actually not bad. That's not bad. It's it, very reminiscent of Blade Runner. 
and then picture number three we got a trench coat more like a raincoat to me it's not bad military style a coat and then here you have something very casual all in uh, patent leather picture number four and then here we have a change in color we got olive green and black for picture number one two and three picture number three jacket is absolutely very nice that's something I could that's something you know that type of jacket always suits uh, Oliver for some reason he liked these type of jackets these marching band type jacket and then you got the fur I mean faux fur fake fur on the picture number three and then you got this very edgy futuristic look on picture number one and then you got another futuristic look for picture number four something a biker would wear and then here we have on slide eight still continuing on continuing on from the previous slide picture number one looks like he just got off the plane launched the parachute it's not that's a good look I, I kind of like that shirt and then picture two three and four all matching with olive and green I love the jacket mix up with the dress on picture number two with a female model and here we have the Rick Owen style certainly with the sag saggy carrot pants and then very very um, blended blended in a variety of styles on picture number four we got the pea coat we got a long jacket obviously skinny pan leather pants I mean it's quite a, a mixture or blend of styles I'm not sure what you would call that but it's not bad and then still continuing on with the color olive I love I love the picture number one it is quite different yes it is revealing but there's something about it that is striking that is wicked a very original style I love seeing these type of styles I love seeing these type of designs this is the kind of thing that designers are always always looking for something different so I gotta give it up for picture number one and here we have another one he looks like he just got off the parachute it looks like he just came off from the military but that's not bad I think it's too much and then on picture number three I love this jacket right here I, I wouldn't say it's a jacket but it's very drapey it's absolutely flow flowy there's something about it that I like and then here we have something that uh, you know I know it just got off I know it just came out but the Black Panther style you got that Bieber Vendetta style absolutely very nice very futuristic look I love these type of designs and not only that you got you get to see the V and it's a turtleneck with a zipper in the middle and then here we have slide 10 the colors are becoming darker now we got the long jacket on the female model in picture number three I think that's too much I don't think that suits her well and then this jacket I kind of like this jacket even though it's too much but for some reason it works it's a lot of buttons there a lot of seams a lot of patches it's not bad and then here we have here we go again with the jacket on number three this is the type of style but you know what I'm not gonna focus on the jacket I'm gonna focus on the shirt underneath I love the colors I like how it shines and then here we have something that I don't even know why I, I, I really don't like it with the shirt with the opening in the middle I think that only works for females in this case it doesn't work for a man and it's just not a good look and here we are on the sla uh, last slide slide number 11 I love the medallion in the middle that the male model is wearing love that jacket is very biker type jacket very futuristic look and definitely not a nomad look love that style and then here we have something extravagant something that is quite red carpet ready love the style you got this um, geometric abstract style in the middle and then with the blinds or I no, I'm sorry pleading on the side even on the sleeves I, I like that that works but but picture number three is the best that asymmetrical look with the see-through fishnet um, look with the bikini uh, with underwear underneath look at that stri uh, stripe or panels on the other side 
and then you got this asymmetrical fully draped look I, I love this style right here it's same thing with picture number one from previous slide but this is it right here the last picture sets it off so what have I learned about Balmain fall winter 2018 well the extravagance the eccentrics the eccentrics of Balmain has not disappeared even though many people say it's gaudy it's over designed it's over complicated but for some reason a lot of it just blends well each of the pieces may not be strong enough to be individual pieces but when you blend it all it it works there are there's some there's a few pieces here that I love there's a few pieces here that I like but for the most part do I see people wearing this every day or even on the weekend no but in terms of showing and, and to be honest with you this is what I would consider a fall and winter because of the heavy uh, showing of colors and also fabrics in terms of jackets and coats even dresses there's a few dresses that I don't think belongs here such as you know the previous slide picture number three but for the most part this is a strong showing of Balmain uh, I'm not sure if they're doing well in terms of the market but in terms of you know heading to the red carpet being the center of attention well certainly this ha that has not disappeared from Balmain and so this is Mr. Informal I will see you in the next runway review bye bye